this is my eighth year as an escort, and I have uh, I've been here with families that I knew, that I met while their uh, their honored firefighter was in the hospital. I've been here with families that I had friends in the department. This year I'm here and I've been assigned a firefighter who I have taught in classes before. But last year, 27, 2018, these years are running together, 2018, uh, firefighter Michael Thorne was placed in the wall and Michael had, uh, had been on the fire department with me since I started. He started a couple years before me, so 20, uh, 20 some odd years we've been together on a couple different departments. And uh, every year is an humbling experience and uh, last year it got a lot more personal because this was not just somebody you were acquainted with or a family you had that I had known even previously or a family I met on Saturday afternoon. This was somebody that I saw going on the wall that I had known for a long time. And, and uh, as much as I think this weekend is something that everybody in the fire service should experience because it teaches you about honor and about sacrifice, when you know the person going on the wall, it amplifies that more than I could ever describe. I believe the honor and duty of being chosen as an escort for a family is a, uh, it's a very big burden. And not a burden in a strenuous way, but a burden is a way you have a, an obligation to uphold the honor of the fire service to that family. You have a burden to make sure their weekend goes as smooth as possible and that they experience as few hiccups as can be. That way this is a memorable experience for them. For a lot of them, you're up to two years out from the death of their, uh, their family member, or their friend, or their partner member, and this may very well be the last official tribute to them. So to make sure they leave here with a good experience, that they understand they have picked up a much bigger family, and as an escort, that you'll be their friend for life is a key thing to impart upon them. I think that for an escort, honor doesn't touch it. It's an obligation, it's a duty. And I think that for an escort, whatever it takes is a true motto. Whatever it takes to make sure the honor is upheld, whatever it takes to make sure this weekend is special, Whatever it takes to make sure the family knows that the fire service still cares for them and still loves them and their family member, friend, department, member, wherever the case may be. I really believe that life changing is a, is a good way to describe it. You take something away from family, every family you meet. You learn a little about their family member. If you didn't know the family member before, you learn a little about them. And when you get a family that comes to you and you see small children that have lost a parent, or a few years ago, I had a family whose uh, the gentleman never got to meet his son. His wife was pregnant when he passed away. At the time, it struck me standing here that weekend that his child and mine were just a few months apart. And uh, I stay in touch with them, and I, and I watch their child grow up, and, and I relate the two of them being so close in age. And, and every time I see a picture of this gentleman's son, I just wonder, you know, what if that was me? And did we do a good enough job making sure they understood what their loved one meant, what his dad meant to the fire service? I think every year it's a reminder of maintaining health and wellness of those around you, of making smart decisions, of doing my best and trying to get my crew to strive to do their best, which they do a good job of, to protect themselves at the end of the day to go home to their families. Not only to provide the service to the public that we're, we're sworn to do, but also to make sure their family gets the same due diligence in providing of coming home to them. Last year, being that the family I brought, the family escorted, I had known him for around 20 years, I told the family that I would drive them here to Emmitsburg versus flying or traveling separate. And uh, the Thursday morning before Memorial Weekend, we all loaded into a minivan, and it was seven females, ranging from the age of eight to mid-70s, and myself. And uh, if there was anything that has been a life-changing experience, 
it was driving a minivan of seven women from Augusta, Georgia to Emmitsburg and back in the same weekend. Um, there were some very interesting conversations had and just a typical family atmosphere that I was put right in the middle of uh, from being handed fried chicken driving down the road and saying you're going to eat this to uh, them having typical family spats on the road and having to kind of uh, mediate a little bit I guess and, and duck. For three days at the beginning of October every year, I look forward to a weekend that I never encounter a bad attitude. I never encounter a negative outlook. And in my seven previous years of being an escort, I have made friendships that will last a lifetime. I've met people that are indescribable for a number of reasons, uh, some real characters. But the common bond among all of them is they care about the fire service and they care about the families that are here and they care about the firefighters being honored. And uh, I look forward every year to uh, terrorizing the clowns a little bit. I, uh, I try to set people up to go aggravate them and pester them about making various balloon animals. And uh, the folks there taking pictures, I always try to take a picture of them taking a picture of myself. That's become kind of a trademark for me and some of them. And uh, I think that this family is just a profound thing. And nobody here would ask for anything different to be assigned to them the first weekend of October every year than to be here helping with the Memorial Weekend. And if the role they're in now couldn't be filled the next year by them, I don't know of a single one that wouldn't take on a different role gladly with a smile and tackle with all the enthusiasm they could and make sure that they did their job to its fullest. I think that's a big part of an escort or an honor guard member or somebody working logistics or any of the jobs here to explain to their family why they're doing this. You're not going to Emmitsburg, Maryland or Gettysburg, Pennsylvania for a weekend getaway. You're going for what is a very long weekend, uh, long days, late nights, early mornings, and an emotional toll that's, that's hard to describe. And I would encourage people who have families at home that don't understand to sit down and watch these tributes with them and come back and tell them about the family member they honored and help them become a little bit engaged into what's going on. And if an escort meets a family member, an honor guard member meets a family member, go back and invite their own family to become connected with them. I think that's a way to, uh, to, to kind of bridge that because it's hard to describe to somebody who's not here and not experiencing this what this weekend means. You're asking your family to sacrifice your time for you to come up here. Give them the benefit of understanding why you're here and what this means to you. That one-on-one, -on -one, the conversations when you're, you're in waiting to go into a meal, you're in line to, to do something where you have that time to talk about their family member or learn the history or hear the funny stories. And uh, Everybody can go on the, the social media or on the website or open the book up and read the description, but there's so many things about that family member or the friend or department or where the case may be that that can't fit onto the paper or fit onto the website. And just learning those stories is a very important part of that and that's what builds a tremendous bond.